theme for Earth Day 2020 is climate action. Until three months ago, climate change seemed the biggest challenge to the future of humanity, as it is indeed. Anyway, now we are forced to rethink the whole organization of our life to defend ourselves from a largely unknown threat, the COVID-19 pandemia. I live and work in Lombardy, where the epidemic hit hardest. It is not yet clear if a link exists between the spread of the virus, the health consequences and the bad air conditions due to the massive emissions from traffic and industrial activities. In any case, what is largely accepted is that we have to change deeply our way of living, what we started calling our normal life. We finally came to know that what was normal for us, it is an exception for the ecosystem where we live. Human beings are an event of exceptional impact in the ecosystem balance. When we talk about environmental protection and sustainable development, both scientific knowledge and our individual and collective behaviors are at stake at the same time. More than ever, it appears clear that everything is closely interrelated and we have to implement the ecological approach to all human dimensions that is fostering balance and equilibrium instead of continuous growth. After more than 30 years from the approval of the Brundtland Report, Our Common Future, we still need to explore most of the scientific domain in order to invert our trajectory. The time came when our technological development has to be oriented towards the common goods. For example, we struggle for developing a more sustainable mobility but never dare to implement smart working at a large scale. We shyly promoted non-motorized transport modes and now we need alternative solutions to crowded public transports. We can manage huge mass of data for the benefit of our health, but they have been used above all to probe our commercial needs. University communities are committed to affirming the possibility of a sustainable future, provided governments support scientific research and promote a radical change of priorities. Let me close with a paradox. If in the 15th century the jesters had been paid more than artists and scientists, we would have never had the Renaissance.